My name is Janet Radford, and I'm working at the Beehive Oven at Dr. Hart's Hart Square, and this is Katherine Evans with me. She's been cooking, and you know, Jeremiah Evans, her husband, is going to come, and he's going to stoke the fire. We've been blessed that he's getting it ready for us today. And then we'll actually make some cornbread for you. Thanks, Jeremiah. Good. You know, I've been doing this for so long and I'm about to get old enough that I can't do it all day, every day for Heart Square. So I'm really blessed that Catherine and the younger generation is taking over. And Ira is here as well. She's somewhere with the children. But they're both going to be doing the oven one day when I'm not here and we're just thrilled to have them here. Catherine, let's make some cornbread. All the ingredients are in the jar that Catherine has. Um, there are two different jars. The liquid jar has a cup of buttermilk, one egg, and a fourth of a cup of oil. And the dry is one cup of cornmeal, one heaping tablespoon of flour, one heaping tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking Mommy. soda. I didn't take my shoes off. Mama did. Okay. We're playing. Yeah, you're so cute today. You go back We're to the fence. The house. <laughs> We're going to make today what we call corn fritters. And they're in a special little pan. And Catherine will bake those for you. And then we will show you what they look like. When it comes to making the cornbread in the beehive oven, it's hard to tell what temperature it is compared to what we do nowadays. Oh my God. One thing that we used to do is throw cornmeal in and if it burned it was too hot, but if it just browned then it was just right for us. Another thing that you can do is you can hold your arm in the oven. Of course the fire's got to be died down, you've got to push the coals to the side. But if you can hold your arm in the oven for about 10 seconds, then it's about 400 degrees. You know, one of our most frequently asked questions is, how hot is your oven? And when I bake it at home in my oven, I bake it 400 degrees for 10 minutes or, or until it's golden brown on top, depending on how thick you've got your corn fritters or your muffins. Um, but here, we have to go by time because we don't really know the temperature. So usually our first uh, corn fritters come out in five to ten minutes and when it gets down to 20 to 30 minutes that's too long for a corn fritter. That's the kind of thing you want to bake pastry slowly. Come here. You gonna carry this? We're gonna take it to the kitchen. Now that Caroline and Catherine have made our cornbread and Jeremiah has stoked our fire, we are going to separate the coals. I'm going to rake the coals aside because we actually cook on this clay. When I get my coals all raked to the side, we'll actually, Catherine is actually gonna put the cornbread in the, in the center where the fire was. And we put the door on it. Now that, now that the food's in there, we'll put the door on it. It'll help keep the heat in. This is a tool that we use to take the corn fritters in and out of the oven because the clay is incredibly hot. One of the interesting stories from the past is bacon cherry pie. You know, Ruth and Tom Bishop were just very close to Bob and Ruth taught me how to do the oven and cherry pie was Tom's very most favorite. And so she had bought one, of course it was froze, we took it out the night before. And so we didn't know that you had to do post pastries in a cool oven. So we fired the oven and put this cherry pie into a very hot oven. 
uh, when we took it out and checked it a few minutes later, it was black on top and frozen in the middle. So thus we have learned that you have to do cherry pies or apple pies as we serve here at Hot Square to whoever wins the sewing contest in a cool oven. Really hot ovens, several hundred degrees. I bake mine on 400. We know it's hotter than that. It'll bake in five minutes. Uh, and that's good for cornbread. I think the corn fritters that Catherine put in the oven may be done now. And she's going to take those out for us. And don't they look great? They're just little pieces of cornmeal, little corn fritters. You can bake thicker ones. The thicker they are, the more time you have to leave them in. They're absolutely wonderful. And you know we fix those every year at Heart Square. We invite you to come down and sample some. There's always a line, but they are always absolutely wonderful when they just come out of the oven. So we hope you come and join us. We love doing this.